Number 10. Forrest Gump and Microphone In this scene, Forrest is walking by a convention about the Vietnam War, and he somehow ends up giving a speech about it. Uh, he wings it, but just as he starts talking, this sad man unplugs all the wires. And by the time the mic is plugged in again, Forrest is already wrapping up. He says, and that's all I gotta say about that. What did he say? I don't know. But the guy next to him gives him a hug, so it must have been good. Number 9. George and Harold break it down. Boom! The door opens. Two of the shortest, coolest, dudest dudes ever enter, blasting Oh Yeah by Ferris Wheel. I don't know what to say about this one, guys. It's just they're so cool. Since I've never seen anyone cooler, they had to go on the list. Great scene. Number 8. Under Frog? Underdog is flying across the sky, right? And a crowd of civilians notice him flying by. But he's so high up, they're not quite sure what he is. So a few of them start guessing. The first two makes sense. Like, they're, they're like, It's a bird! And it's a plane! But then, <laughs> the third guy, he says, It's a frog! And I'm like, Yo, frogs can't do that. Frogs can't, frogs can't jump like that. Number 7, Dance of the Panda. So Kung Fu Panda's on a boat, and he's in for the ride of his life, because a goose is shooting him with cannons. But Kung Fu Panda does not follow standard of cannon avoidance protocol, probably because he's a panda, I don't know, but he thinks back to his master, Master Shifu, where he did a trick with, like, water droplets, and this dumb panda's like, I wanna do that with the cannonball. And I'm like, no, don't, it's a cannonball, run away. But he stands firm and like catches the cannonball and throws it like in a really cool way. And he just, he keeps doing it. He keeps throwing cannonballs and he's like, whoosh, keeps throwing it back. He's like, nah, uh goose, you can't, can't touch this guy. And like, wow, wow. This scene really shocked me and it deserves the number seven for sure. Number six. Big Hero Flying Scary So Big Hero and Little Hero are standing on the Golden Gate Bridge after flying a little while together and Little Hero's done with the flying. He, he just wants to go home. He's like, come on, we gotta, we gotta go home. So, but Big Hero, Big Hero's like, uh, I think the treatment's working, which was kind of scary to be honest. And then he falls off the bridge. At this point, I'm sure they're dead. So I get up and I start leaving the theater, but... I look back at the screen one last time so I can uh, see how big the splash they make is. I mean, come on. But then Baymax engages the thrusters just in time. Wow, great scene. Would have been higher on the list if it was less scary. Number five. Hey, buddy, I think you lost this. Number four. Cool guy does piano. So, this big alien guy is sitting in the middle of nowhere and he's pretty scary he's he's huge and a bunch of guys a gun with guns are there they, they show up because that's just what happens when there are scary guys around they they like to be there for that but despite how scary he is this legend walks right up to him and plays a banging tune from i think uh beverly hills cop that's the one uh, and wow, look at those moves. Wow. The robot did not expect that. I am very impressed with him. Look, these guys are too. Look at them. Number three, Big Shark kills Batman. Now, this one is just crazy. So Batman is getting out of the water when BAM! Shark on his leg, holding on like it's no tomorrow. Batman delivers some trademark Batman punches and Batman kicks, but it's no match for the shark's raw strength. Batman knows when he's outmatched, so he calls to Robin for his trump card, Shark Repellent. This shark repellent is not something we've seen in action much, so the more casual viewers might have forgotten its effects. But don't worry, we're about to see them. So Robin goes upside down for some reason, but he gives Batman the repellent. And just a few sprays and that thing is mm, down, out. Got you with the scene name, didn't I? Batman isn't dead, idiot. Number two, Mona's falsetto seduces demon. All right, so Mo Moana's got the rock, and she's not scared. 
she tells the ocean to move. And at this point, I'm thinking, what are you doing? The one thing keeping you safe from that big lava monster over there is the water. But hey, I'm not the one with the rock. So the demon, with his newfound path through the water, starts hightailing it at Mona. And she does not follow the standard lava demon avoidance protocol. Movies, man, they're all about betraying those standard protocols. So Mona starts singing, and I think this was a poor choice on the editing team's part at first. Totally ruins the, the tension and the fear of the scene, but the monster actually falls for it and goes to sleep right in her hand. Wow, that's why she's out there and we're in here. Am I right, fellas? Number one. Hey, uh, Jake, what's going on over there? Hold on, let me check with my binoculars. Watch this, you can, you can zoom in. 